Practicing charity is the best way to evangelize. That's today's tweet from Pope Francis. Thanks for joining us on this Monday evening, the 26th of January. I'm Brian Patrick. The threatened bad weather delays a vote on human trafficking legislation in the House here in Washington today. The House is expected to take up six related bills tomorrow morning. H.R. 514 would prioritize the fight against human trafficking within the Department of State. That bill comes from New Jersey Congressman Chris Smith. He's also sponsoring H.R. 515 called Megan's Law to prevent demand for child sex trafficking. Four similar bills are also on the table. Don Hawkins is executive director of the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. Your group's annual dirty dozen list of companies with sexually exploitative policies includes Backpage. It's kind of like a Craigslist, but I'm shocked to, to find that it sells women. It is. Backpage is the number one place to buy and sell women and children right now in the United States. They garner 80% of the online prostitution revenue in the United States, and very little is being done to stop them. And the Super Bowl is coming up, and I know that's a big opportunity for this kind of trafficking. How can this go on so publicly? Well, the problem is, I mean, six bills tomorrow on the trafficking issue, we're, we're not solving the problem right now of human trafficking because we're ignoring one of the biggest causes of that what's driving demand and pornography is largely driving demand. Pornography is used to buy and sell as advertising on Backpage and it's also showing that women are objects and that sex can be bought and sold. Also, I know that Google has now created some policies against sexually explicit material, largely as a result of what you did. What, yeah, how would you we, do that? We listed Google on the Dirty Dozen list for the last two years. And as a result, they removed all sexually explicit apps from Google Play. And they also stopped all advertising that is sexually explicit or links to explicit websites. So we see a complete change in Google. We expect that from other targets as well, like Verizon or Hilton Hotels, who are also profiting from and pornography and sexual exploitation. I'm a Verizon customer, and I gotta say I was shocked to see Verizon on this right. list. How is Verizon profiting from child porn? They often, they're pushing child-themed pornography into the home of everybody who has their Fios network. Um, last year, we found dozens of titles that were child-themed, rape-themed, or very violence, violent, and, and they defended that even as a benefit to consumer choice. What can we do about this? We can contact these companies, demand policy changes. We can ask that our federal obscenity laws be enforced by the Department of Justice. There's a new attorney general that we expect. This week is her confirmation hearings. We can look and, and demand that, that our government leaders start to do something about this. Should I pull my business from Verizon? The thing with Verizon is that Comcast is doing it, and so, mm -hmm. so are all of the others. So we can go to them and demand that we want them to be res more responsible and to stop profiting from sexual exploitation. Do you think we'll see any progress in this area this year? I, I'm very hopeful. We've already seen some progress from a couple of companies that we've already listed. We've heard internally from them, and we've already seen a change with Verizon as they've started to change the type of, of films that they offer. They still have very violent and kind of teenage themed, but, but a lot of the very young themes are gone. So. Well, I'm glad there's some progress being made. From the National Center on Sexual Exploitation, Don Hawkins, thanks.